Good morning and welcome to Visionary Aging. I'm Mary Winters, your host and a gerontologist, the owner of About Senior Solutions. And we put this program together because we want you to be empowered with options and understanding the power that you have in your control of aging. And we want you to be visionary with that. So we put the Visionary Aging program together. We have a fun show today. We have um, a caregiver question. And I'm not sure if Steve's going to be on today, but we also have Melinda on with us. And we took a little field trip over to an assisted living and met with someone who's 100. She's going to be having a party next week, but I want to share a little bit about her too. But let's go ahead and we'll move on. Um, let me show you a little clip on one of our new services. <laughs> uh, so if you're looking for one-to-one -one, uh, life enhancement or any kind of care plans or any kind of pro problem solving, just call the office 626-359-0108 and we can talk through whatever issue may be taking place. We can schedule an appointment and spend a little time getting understand, get an understanding of what's happening and possibly the direction we can take for you. So, but we're loving getting involved more on a one-to-one -one basis and, and a life enhancement support too. I don't know if she's gonna join us today. Um, I want to share a little bit about, let's see, I should just show you. It's my gang for Thanksgiving. Um, just really grateful that all of them were able to be together. We um, had just a great feast with all the grandkids. This little one in the front, Logan, she's, uh, uh, well, my father used to do that all the time with his thumbs up. So that was really great. Blake's holding the camera and doing the selfie. We have um, everybody there. So just really grateful to be here. And I hope your Thanksgiving was wonderful. And anything we can do, because you may have um, had some concerns when you got together with family, just please, please seriously give us a call and just let us know if there's something we can guide you with. Um, this is kind of cute, too. I have... Um, the kids are, are, they're dreaming of sugar plum fairies in their heads. So anyway, it was just, it was fun to be with them. Um, we also have the perk. Let me share that with you. It looks like today is National Fritters Day. Um, I don't know. Fritters are, fritters are kind of good. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> I've got a little bit of a cough here. Let's see. Oh, I love I Dream of Jeannie. And it says, Oh, that's when she became Mrs. Nelson. She actually married the, the guy on the show, um, the astronaut. So I know she's, I don't know how long she slept in that, in that bottle for, but uh, she's, she got married to him in 1969, it looks like. But let's see, our perk pun is learning how to fry a fritter is easy. It's just mind over batter. Hmm. Let's see what's going on for tomorrow. International Day of person, Persons with Disabilities. So that'll be special. Uh, let me go ahead and let's see what Melinda's up to. I don't know if she's back yet or not, but let me go ahead and we'll bring her in. Oh, you know what? I got to do a little intro first, huh? Here we go. Morning. Good morning. Hi, how are you? <laughs> it's, I'm doing well. It's a nice rainy day here in LA. <laughs> yeah, it really is. We got a little bit of rain yesterday too. Um, so how was your turkey day? It was good. We went out to a restaurant. So that's very, you know, that's always nice because you have a really nice meal. We had a Thanksgiving meal, but uh, no dishes, no cooking. That's really nice too. <laughs> yeah. Um, no leftovers. So uh, yeah, it was just, it was really nice. We went to a place called Beauty in Essex. Oh, 
It was good. But it was good. That sounds great. Yeah. Well, we did a little bit of a turkey trot. and um, Oh, good. It was kind of nice. So we definitely took your advice last week, which was great. Um, we also, this week, I took a little... Um, a little tour we met with a woman who is a hundred years old she was in the uh british royal um air force and i'm not sure what capacity she served but she's going to be having a huge party this coming week for her birthday so we will show some little clips from that next week but i was really excited oh, and that's so I, cool I know. And I think the other thing is, please let us know if you have family or you have uh, a client or a resident in your community. It'd be so great to celebrate their birthday. So just give us a call and we'll make sure that we add a clip of something you send or um, we'll come out and visit them if we're close enough. So that'd be fun. A lot of fun. That's really cool. Yeah. So yeah, what other... Oh, go ahead. We did a little turkey trot too. We walked. You did. Around, yeah, but um, the area where this Beauty and Essex place is is pretty new, um, so I think it's like off of Kawanga. So we oh. walked around, and yeah, for probably about an hour, we walked around the neighborhood, just kind of like checking things out, nice. seeing what was new since last time we've been there. It was fun. Yeah, Great. And talking with our friends that we went to dinner with. Oh, nice. Oh, did you have a, a big group or just no, just four of the four of us, four of us total. But it, you know, it, that's that's like what the holidays are all about spending time with family and exactly you know, and close friends. And so, yeah, it was nice to just kind of continue the dinner conversation on the walk. For so sure. I hope I hope uh, a lot of other people got a lot out of that turkey trot idea as well. I know, I know. Well, and of course, when you're running around with the little ones too, they're stopping, starting, stopping, starting, yeah. looking at bugs, looking at flowers. <laughs> so it's a lot to kind of um, like see that you never even thought you, you know, never really realized was in your existence there because they find some teeny little pebble or yeah. some little interesting thing. So they slow uh, us down, don't they? That's they, great. They do. They make us kind of think, or they make us go faster because yeah. we're chasing after them to avoid the street. So, that's true, that's true. <laughs> so yeah, what kind of tips do you have for us today? Do you have a yeah, so um, the, the holiday, the eating for the holidays continues, right? Because yeah. this is our first holiday event, Thanksgiving. And now, um, you know, people may have holiday meals later in December. Can't believe it's December already. Yeah. Um, but but we're also, usually people are invited to events and uh, they may have like other other things coming up. So um, they, the thing to think about or to, you know, look for is, what made what made you feel not great about your holiday eating at this first holiday Thanksgiving? And if there was something that didn't feel quite good about it, then we can reassess that and you know make a plan for going into the next holiday meal um, at the end of this month. Or if you have other events and things coming up, you can plan for them. So nice. um, if you know if there was some overeating or um, you know, you just didn't feel great after the meal. Um, we, you can look at kind of why, why that happened. That's, then, that's a good idea. Yeah. And then you can reassess plan. that. Exactly. Exactly. So I feel pretty proud of myself because I felt like I ate enough, but I did not gain any weight over the right. holidays. So that's good, right? Just staying consistent yeah. at least. And um, we'll just uh, see how much we can stay away from all the sugary snacks and cookies and all the beautiful things that people make during the holidays that you want to really try. But I guess it's, you know, if you're going to have the gingerbread man, just have one arm, right? And pass it on. Yeah. <laughs> or, yeah, it, you know, the, the, you could save it and eat a little bit later, a little bit later, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's, that's wonderful. You do feel a lot better coming out of the holiday kind of gone into it with a plan and you come out of it feeling good, you know, right. you don't feel like you overeat or you don't feel, um, you know, uncomfortable in your body. So yeah, that, that's great. And you know what, too, we're going to go ahead and we'll introduce shape up in more detail next week. And we can talk about a self-assessment. I'll go ahead and just mm -hmm. throw up what, um, throw the, ooh, we got a little lag here. Um, here's our shape up 
in our Shape Up community, we have these are proven measures actually that show, um, well, they're proven to, to say that this will help support your longevity. And we'll talk about um, Ruth Adams in a, in a minute. She's 100 years old and, and how she fits in some of these little categories that really, really do support that idea of longevity and um, these specific things. You're having a spiritual community, having that balance in your life, your attitude and the people you influence or who influence you and your physical activity, your eating habits, your united family, whether that's uh, blood relatives or not, and your purpose. What is your purpose in life? So we're going to uh, launch this within our own company and um, we will sit down and we can do a little assessment, a little mini assessment over this month. And you can kind of look at what you might want to change or add or improve. And um, I know I've picked a couple areas in Shape Up that I want to really focus on uh, this month and into next year. And we want to be able to do the same thing for our clients so that they can have specific goals that they select themselves and we can, we can dial those ahead. Yeah. And every, every aspect of the shape up, um, you know, outline is so important. I think it, it the, the, the big thing, uh, the big question we got after the holiday eating at the strength shop was, um, what to do, uh, if we're in a situation where we're feeling pressured by our loved ones to eat more or to eat certain things, um, that may not be the best, the best things for us to eat. And, yeah. um, you know, I think the big thing is to have a really clear reason of, you know, why you want to eat a certain way or avoid a certain food or pass on the seconds of the pie or whatever, whatever sure. your reason for that is, have a clear reason for that and be able to communicate that to our families and enlist their help. Um, you know, so instead of feeling like, oh, what do I do if I'm being pressured by my family who wants to feed me um, and instead try to enlist their help and support because the more support you have, you know, the, the more successful you're going to be. And that's one of those one of the having the united family, having all of the people around you that can support you and what you want to do. Right. Exactly. The family or the people you're just close to. You really yeah. want to be around. I, I love my mom used to say when we were gripe as kids. Um, about friends. And she would say, I think it's time to weed the friendship garden. Yeah, <laughs> But it's true. The people who influence you and, and how you influence others, you could be so positive. I mean, you're such a positive person. It's so lovely to be around you and spend time with you because oh, I know you. that when I'm with Melinda, it's <laughs> going to be a, a positive, happy experience. And I think sometimes we realize that others may drain us a little bit. It's like, huh, maybe, maybe I can change the conversation a little bit to be more positive, or maybe they're just in a space where they're just not feeling good. And yeah. there's a lot of negativity and um, maybe we can help by changing the communication or maybe we can't, and maybe we need to pull away a little bit. So it's kind of interesting. It can be very difficult to weed the friend garden because. Yes. <laughs> Especially yeah. when they're real family too, huh? Yeah. And that, that can be very, very difficult. Yeah. So I think sometimes just realizing how much control you do have in the situation, you can limit your time, you can limit the, um, the types of conversations you want to have, you can redirect conversations. Um, you can really look at the positive and, and remind them of how grateful you are uh, mm -hmm. to have them in your life and what types of things really excite you or, or make you happy about being with them and see if maybe some of that turns around a little bit. I think, I think we don't, we forget about the influence that we have too. Yeah. And I, and I really think, important. yeah, the, in, the influence that we have, that's a part of sharing why you're doing something for your health too, is when you share that, um, you know, you know, then sometimes people, that inf that inspires them you know they might it's say true. you know what i want to do that for myself too um and that what's better than inspiring our loved ones the people we want to live long healthy lives with us right you know, to take better care of themselves it's great the other thing that's helped a lot of our clients <laughs> is when they've needed a, a little bit of a break if someone's um energy or um 
maybe the 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 moment of life that they're in becomes a little overwhelming and a little, mm-hmm. uh, you know for that person we say like take that 30 even just 30 minutes away just go take a shower <laughs> just go to the bathroom yeah and give yourself a little bit of time to breathe um, I love the the shower idea because the water kind of running over your skin and just a little bit of silence, a little bit of time by yourself can help you recharge and then be able to be, you know, with all the people again, with the, with a, um, you know, with someone that you might have a challenging dynamic with. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I agree. There's something magical about um, the element of water too. And, and I yeah. think the other thing too, that's great. is just take your shoes off. If it's not too cold or wet, just take your shoes off and walk outside, stand on the grass. Yeah. It's such an amazing grounding thing. Um, how about we go ahead and I'm going to talk about Ruth Adams and her birthday and why she was such a great influence too. And then we'll come back. How's that? Okay. Awesome. Okay. Sounds good. Here we go. And boom. <clears throat> yes, please send your pictures and let us know about your loved ones and your 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 friends who are turning 100, but we want to celebrate Ruth Adams today. She is over at the Thrive 55 Plus Active Living Center, and she was joining this picture, the Sterling picture with the director there, Tommy Stanley, and Kimberly Delich put the story together and put the photo together. So thank you very much. Um, She turned 100 on the first and everybody celebrated her over at the center. They said that she is a ball of fire. She is just a lot of fun to be around. Um, Mary Jo Riley said that she is great at participating at things in the center and she's been going there for 30 years. The other thing I love that she's doing, she just seems like she's not afraid to do new things, which is also really important. And she comes and she watches the, um, the wee bowling and eats her, her lunch. And I guess there, well, there are tons of people that wanted to say little things about her, but she was originally born in Devon and moved to Croton. Uh, with her husband who served in the military in the navy for 22 years and he worked over at the at electric boat and adams um ruth worked at the sheffield pharmacy and in new in new london and she said she loved working there because she got to know everybody i'm sure she is extremely social and she said her secret to long life is just live it and go and have a good time. People just say she's a great gal. They love her sass and gumption. And one of the other fellows over at the center too, Frank says about a decade decade ago when they were, we bowling partners, she actually would bowl with them. Um, she, he, he said that she was a, she was fun and she always had funny comments about everything. She makes everybody laugh. So that's, I think that's the key really is, is laughter, not taking life too seriously and just enjoying, enjoying, enjoying the opportunities that we have to be together. So let's come back and um, happy birthday, Miss Ruth. And um, we'll probably wrap up our day a little bit early today. So um, I know we don't have Steve here, so he would normally talk about this day in sports, but we have, um, I don't know. Let's see. We talked about, I want I'm just going to, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to pull up the whole calendar for the month. And if you want the perk, okay. we just send it to you for free. Or just email it to you. It's, um, just reach out to, um, just reach out to info at about senior and we'll send it out to you, but let's see. Oh, there's a national bacon day. Oh, that's December 30th. <laughs> I think I like that day. Let's I see. love our national bacon day is after we all gorge ourselves on the holidays. Exactly. That exactly. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. There's got to be something national wear your pearls day. That seems kind of sweet. I don't know. Yeah. About... <laughs> 
Um, National Llama Day. You know what? I have a friend who owns several llamas on her ranch. I bet <gasps> she needs to know about that. So, and on my birthday is actually National Chocolate Brownie Day. I like that. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. And then my dad always wanted me to be born on um, on Pearl Harbor Day, but my my granddaughter was born on Pearl Harbor instead. So she was born the day before me. So what are you going to do so for good. your birthday? Because it's before our next show. Oh my gosh. Well, it, you know, it's just another day, <laughs> but I have my granddaughter the day before my son, the day of uh, a couple of good friends, the same days. Um, it's, it's a crazy mirage of tons of birthdays all clumped together. In oh, a couple of days, so the, so. Those, are, those are all birthdays together. Yeah. 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 And wow. so, so it's just kind of like birthday week. My sister's on the 13th and um, oh my That's gosh, almost month. everybody in our birth, in our family is born in December or wow. August now. <laughs> so anyway, um, any big plans for you for the weekend or before we come um, back? We might shoot week? a little video for the strength shop about goal planning for the new year. Perfect. Um, yeah. So, you know, it's, I guess it's never too early to think about goal planning for the new year. You know, Mary, this is why we're filming this video, that 90% yep. um, of people abandon their New Year's resolutions. Well, <laughs> it was like two weeks, than, right? Within yeah, two weeks? and it's yeah. like by February. Yeah. <laughs> They're just So less than 10% follow through. And the vast, vast majority of New Year's resolutions are health related. Either I want to live better, eat healthier, exercise more, quit smoking, um, manage my stress, like all of those type of things. Those are usually what, you know, the new year's resolutions about, and they're usually abandoned within four weeks. I think whoever wants to come on the show and decide what their goals are and, and share their why so that we can really support you and encourage. And it's really inspiring. It's really inspiring mm -hmm. to have other people share these things and watch their successes. It helps all of us to move forward. In fact, I was talking to a gal, maybe she would come on with us. She has a big goal for weight loss and um, some different things in relation to her house and some other little fun things. So if you want to join us on a journey with Shape Up and find the goals that you really want to attain, we will support you in this community and make sure that your vision of aging perfectly the way you want is going to happen. And, you know, Melinda, too, I know you have, you gave me a special card to share with somebody and I'm happy to share that with somebody, oh, yeah. like you're one of our viewers. So tell me what that, that um, special yeah. card is that you gave. So we um, gave out, we gave out to each of our clients two cards, uh, gift cards for first appointments. Um, nice. So that initial consultation and that first workout um, so that they could have their friends and family come in and try enlist the people you love to take better care of their health. Um, but to be able to try the workout at the strength shop. That sounds um, great. So yeah, you have two of those, Mary, like go for it. Pass them around. <laughs> yeah, I will pass them around. But if you're watching or listening and yeah. you really want that one, just, just call me 626-359-0108. And I will share my personal card so that you get that free session and you really see how special the strength, strength shop is. So anyway, well, thank you so much. We will be back next week. We're going to be really firing up with some fun guests and we'll share that in the middle of the week as far as who that is. And that's um, exciting. Yeah. And we'll get our shape up goals in order and we'll present that. It'll be, it's going to be a lot of fun. So um, I hope you have a great weekend and uh, we'll see you next week.